Hey house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother 20 updates and spoilers. It's casual Sunday because I feel like I'm dying. Okay, our house guests of the day. Here we go. Marie France Pakin Lapore. I'm not good at French. Ugh. But thank you for the support. Also, Nolan Gear, Callie Foster, George Lane the Fourth, Ingrid Marinoff, Mark Katina. Ash and Michael Lum, thank you guys all so much for the support. We really, really appreciate it, and we couldn't do this without you. We think you're awesome. And if you guys want to be house guests today, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. I sound like I just ran like a marathon. Oh my god. Okay, so yesterday, it's a mess. Yesterday, Casey and JC were nervously awaiting part two of the final HOH competition. The feeds finally went down at 6 p.m. after they were all like. <laughs> all day and they came back a little bit after 9 p.m. so it wasn't like that long of an outage uh, and the house guests were wearing t-shirts that said I climbed Mount Evictus and all I got was this lousy t-shirt that's fun so this competition was a combination of mental and physical as usual I feel like part two is usually something like that they gotta like climb up a ladder or something well this one it sounds like involved rock climbing which fits with the house this season and i think maybe also the days but i'm not totally sure on that so guess what casey won part two which means that she and tyler will face off in part three live on finale night I think we all pretty much figured that was going to happen, right? So this pretty much seals the deal that JC is going to get third place, but he doesn't know that yet. He still doesn't know about Tyler and Casey's final two deals that they've had this whole entire time. So Casey and Tyler were silently celebrating when JC wasn't in the room, and um, they agree. There is nothing that JC can say to them to change their minds. They are dead set on taking each other to the final two it's gonna happen. I mean, there would have to be some sort of JC miracle for him to make it to the end now. I just don't see it happening. So, JC doesn't realize this is it for him, but he is very, very upset that he lost. He's telling Casey that he's happy for her, but he also says that he feels like a loser. Uh, apparently, he only lost by 40 seconds. So it's not like it was a total blowout. It was very, very close. So JC was talking to Tyler and he apologized to him for losing the competition because he's like, I thought we were going to go to sleep tonight knowing that we're going to be the final two. That's so sad because like it was never going to happen unless JC won the last HOH. Oh. Um, but he is upset that this competition was mostly physical based because he says that he made way less mistakes than Casey but she was just flying through it so she was still able to beat him so JC says if Casey makes it, makes it to the end she's probably gonna win or no he's saying she will win and I'm saying yes probably so Tyler's like yeah I know I know so he's like acting like he's gonna go to the end with JC but you know he's not so then JC's saying that he hates this place, he wants to get out of here so badly, he hopes that the finale is tomorrow, meaning today. It's going to be a long few days for him waiting, thinking that every day is the finale. Nah, man, it's Wednesday. So then JC was having a freak out by himself in the pink bedroom, and of course, he's blaming production for this. He's saying again that there should have been a better mix throughout the season of the style of competitions. He said there was too many physical ones and he's claiming that this final, this uh, part two of the final HOH is usually mental. No, it's pretty much always been a combo of mental and physical. First part is usually endurance, second part is that combo one, and then the third part is pretty much a crapshoot because you have to guess how the jurors finish the sentence, but a lot of times they give some whack-ass answers. Have you guys noticed that? A lot of times the answers do not make sense. Um, so that one's pretty much a crapshoot. But he feels like he's been slighted here. I feel like JC's biggest enemy in his head this season has been production. Because he has talked crap about production over and over and over again throughout the season. It's insane. I've never seen something like this before. So then JC was complaining to Tyler again. And he said, if I get third place, I'm going to have to get a job. I don't want to work. 
what did you think was gonna happen even if you win it's only five hundred thousand dollars and that's before taxes that's really not that much money you definitely still have to get a job um but jc i think he was saying like he wants to go to school to work in some sort of like in production of some sort so he's saying like i guess if he won he could just go back to school but now he's saying if he doesn't win he has to work to make enough money to go back to school i guess i don't know but whatever so jc is saying <coughs> That Casey is probably going to pick Tyler if she wins HOH. Yeah, that's true. So JC is telling Tyler, you have to win this last competition so that we can both go to the end together. It doesn't matter because Tyler and Casey are both going to take each other. But Tyler is trying to soften the blow here. He still hasn't told JC yet about the final two deal. But he's like, don't worry. You probably have a really good shot at winning America's Favorite Player about that um did you guys see real vegas for sure's tweet about america's favorite player apparently tyler is in the lead by like double digit percentages then casey then brett and then sam and those two apparently are close and then in a distant fifth is Haley, and then i guess Angela is behind her. So JC is not even in like the top six. It's not looking good for him for America's Favorite. I mean, there's still time left to vote, but it's not looking good for him on that front. And also, there's been a lot of debate over the years if you're even eligible to win America's Favorite Player if you're in the top two. And apparently you are, but it's up to production um, who they're going to give that to. You know, because apparently season 16 Derek also won America's Favorite Player, but they were like, nope, we're going to give it to Donnie. You are no longer eligible. So it really depends on production, I guess. But anyway, Tyler and Casey chatted again last night. They don't want to tell JC about their final two deal until right before the finale because they don't want to even give him the chance to try and pull something crazy. They don't want him freaking out either because it's just going to be exhausting. Um, but then they were talking about how they can't wait to start their friendship outside of the house and we're going to travel and blah, blah, blah. You're my best friend. Woo! Okay. So today, not much happening yet. Um, is JC going to start campaigning? I don't know. I'm sure he'll get little, you know, talking points in here and there, telling Tyler that KC is going to win if she makes it to the end, telling KC that... They should both go to the end because it's going to be like LGBT. That's what I see him doing. I don't know if he's going to come up with anything crazy, but we'll see. He's going to be really disappointed, though, when he finds out that the finale is not today. Ugh. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you tomorrow. And until then, much love.